Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And uh, we ask one question here if you're new, which is do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I am not so sure. And today we're just going to do a video short, 18 Modern Inventions That Boomers Just Can't Get Behind. And I do these for fun. And I also say, as you have heard me say before, I'm a defender of the 21st century. So imagine my surprise when I had a, I think it was a, I think it was a woman, it looked like a woman's name, uh, was upset that she thought it, she interpreted it as I was defending the boomer generation. And she told me I should seek medically uh, approved suicide. Yeah. Can you believe that? And it's the only person I've ever reported in uh, 17 months on this channel. So how's that for woke? You know, we think of woke as um, race and uh, minorities and LBGTQ and all those things. But how about age? You know, Bill Maher asked the question, what are we doing today that 20 years from now we're going to say? I can't believe they did that in the 2020s. And the way we treat older people sometimes not so nice. Um, we could be woke. And I think it's fair to be upset with the generation. But to take it out on one boomer who couldn't help it, you know, it was my parents' fault. I was born when I was born. So I can't help my my age or my race or my uh, gender. So anyway, I'm going to score myself on these. And let's see how I'm doing. Let's see if I can score an 18. So we'll roll this up. I got myself over the ads. Uh, we'll try to go through these quickly. Smart home devices, um, voice command, and that kind of thing. Um, I'm totally on board with this, so I score one. Ding! The next one, virtual reality headsets. Well, I do own a virtual reality headset, but it's a cheapie, and you stick your phone in it, and it's it, it's not real good. So I wouldn't say that I've totally immersed myself in virtual reality. So I think I'm going to give myself a half a point on this. So, so far I'm scoring one and a half points. All right. Selfie sticks. I do not own a selfie stick. I just use my phone if I want to take a selfie. So I guess I get to give myself a zero on that. Um, I've never seen the need to purchase a separate device just for selfies so all right ride sharing apps well yeah i've been really bad on this one um i tend not to carpool but i will say now that i moved to a town where i can walk and i drive about five miles a week um, but in terms of using the technology, nah, I got to give myself a zero on this. I have checked out ride sharing apps, so at least I know what I'm doing and I'm pretty conscious and I used to work from home a lot too. Um, I have a car that's nine years old and it has 49,000 miles on it. So I don't drive a lot, but in terms of technology, I got to give myself a zero. Jeez, I'm only scoring one and a half points. Subscription boxes. Why pay for a box of random items every month? Subscription boxes. Sorry, I don't do that. Of course, I am in Mexico now where that's not possible. But still, I have to give myself a zero on that. Cryptocurrency. No, I don't do that. Um, I think the concept's cool, though. It's uh, kind of bucking the the uh, world banks, and you know, there's uh, capitalism is both really, really good and really, really terrible, depending on what you look at. So, cryptocurrency, it's only natural. I mean, the guy that invented that had to hide out for years. Um, I think cryptocurrency's cool, but I've never used uh, Bitcoin or anything like that. Jeez, I am not doing well on this. Smart watches? No, but I don't even own a watch. And I probably would have been a client for a smart watch, except that now my telephone tells the time. 
And I use other smart apps that are not on my watch. I use my phone or my desktop. So yeah, I got to go zero on this. Wow, I am sucking on this so far. But um, yeah, but I'm just not a jewelry guy. I don't, I don't have any piercings, which makes me radical. I don't wear chains. I don't wear rings. I, I don't wear anything. I just don't like jewelry. So I don't have anything against smart watches. Meal kit deliveries. You know, I really haven't done that, and they do that here. I can get the Greek, I get Greek food up the street. And the reason I'll tell you the reason I don't do it, uh, I, I think, is because I'm not a household. I'm just uh, one person living here, and uh, I don't know. Complete meals. Um, I'm on the go a lot. I eat out a lot. So yeah. Oh boy. I'm really sucking at this. E-readers, this I do. Um, I used to have, well, I owned a Kindle, uh, but I tend to read books on my phone now because you can get the Kindle app on your telephone and you can change the font size. And so two and a half points. I am, the last two books I read were physical, but they were given to me. I did not buy them. They were gifts. And one was a gift from the author himself, where there's a lot of writers here in town. So uh, I read physical copies, but I haven't bought a book in a very, very long time. And when I want to read something, I just download it on Kindle. So two and a half points. Streaming services. Yeah, I do that. So right now, I'm going to put this cigar down because it's going out anyway. And um, so right now, I'm not watching any movies or television as a kind of temporary experiment. I've been doing that for three years now. Uh, but I had Netflix for years, and I've watched movies on Amazon. And yeah, I I don't – it's the same thing as – books. I just don't really want the physical copies. Any DVDs that I own, I've kept, uh, but I haven't bought any uh, since I moved here. So three and a half points. Hoverboards. These self-balancing scooters might be fun for kids, but they're seen as an accident waiting to happen by many boomers. That doesn't seem fair. That doesn't seem fair because if you're a, if you're an older person, you may not. Yeah, I, I'm 65. I, I don't think a 65 year old should be riding a hoverboard. So I'm not sure that's fair. But I have to give myself a zero. But yeah, I don't really get why this is on here. It's kind of strange. Digital assistance, having a, design, a device always listening in your home can be a hard pass for those concerned about privacy. Okay, I'm going to score myself on this one. Um, every day I say, Alexa, my calendar, and I have Alexa add to my calendar. I have her tell me what my appointments are. And uh, I'm totally into digital assistance, um, but I pretty much only use Alexa. Uh, I'm not an Apple guy, so I don't use uh, Siri. But so four and a half points. I'm totally on board with digital assistance. Online dating apps, I've used those and um, I've used them many times. So um, I don't like them very much, but for different reasons, not the technology. Uh, I don't like them because um, they match me with people that don't speak English. Um, yeah, you're a perfect match. You can't talk to each other, but you're a perfect match. And all these dating apps now are copying Tinder, which is really a sad, sad thing. So I really do hate dating apps, uh, but I don't hate the technology. I love the idea of it. So five and a half points. Fitness trackers. No, I don't do that. Um, and the reason I don't do that is because I just walk. I walk and I walk and I walk, and and I'm not into the measurement of it, but that doesn't mean, um, yeah, I I don't know. I think 
I am resistant to this, and I think my reason for it is solid, which is I'm just not um, that into myself. Uh, so I realize that might upset some people, but um, I try not to be the center of attention. I'm more interested in other people and in the communities here. So um, I'm just not... Uh, it's not obsessive, but what it is is um, itself. Let me explain. You know how when you move, when you have to move from a house or apartment, you are preoccupied. Okay, you're preoccupied. You're not arrogant. You're not selfish, but you're totally immersed and preoccupied with this move. And to me, this is uh, too immersive. So no, I don't do it. Five and a half points so far. Podcasts, do those all the time six and a half points. Um, my favorite is a philosophy podcast called Philosophize This. And that's the one I listen to religiously and donate to on Patreon. So yeah, yeah, I even give money for podcasts and I'm even thinking of starting one. Yeah, so wish I could give myself two points on here, but I cannot. So six and a half. Augmented reality games uh, that blend the digital and real world like Pokemon Go. Well, you know what? I'm going to give myself a point on this because I, I flirted with this for a couple of years. So there was this, it wasn't a game, but it was a website where you could meet people online as different kinds of characters. What the hell was that? thing called it was really popular in the oos but i used to go on there from time to time and meet people from all over the world and some of them were were uh, had animal personalities and things so yeah I, I do a lot of things where i blend the real world with the digital world i would say but i i, I don't do it currently but i have so i'll give myself a point on that six and a half points Digital art, paying for art that doesn't physically exist. I've never paid for digital art that I can think of. So I have to give myself a zero on this. Um, no, I've never paid for it. So if that's the criteria, I've got to give myself a zero. Online grocery shopping, you can do that here. And again, it's the same thing as the storage boxes. I'm just one person. There's a minimum amount that you buy have to buy in a minimum amount and so i don't do that plus i do have to drive my car at least once a week to keep the battery charged so i take it to the store but um online grocery shopping i think it makes a lot of sense in a dense metropolitan area i live in a small town but um have have i ever done it when I was married, we might have done it a couple times, but I'm going to give myself a zero on this. But I like the idea. And that's it. So I only scored six and a half out of 18. Ah, I thought I was going to do better than that. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. So I thought I thought I was going to score at least half on these. So I think I got schooled a little bit, but I hope I explained some of my thinking. So... If you like what we're doing, Senior Reacting to the 21st Century, hit that like or subscribe button. Um, and as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.